Hey guys, Guns Football here, back with another video. And today we are back with with, with more Wolves transfer news as we made our fourth side of the window. Uh, Wolves have strengthened their defence option with the signing of experienced centre back Craig Dawson from West Ham United. I think that is a very good signing, personally. Do you, do you want me to say as I go into this video? Sorry if we don't have enough time to do the Premier League score predictions. I was round my mate Sal's for, for pizza in the, uh, and a drink the other night, so I didn't have enough time to do that. And I was watched. Seen two films and I was watching a football match, a little bit of the Burnley West Brom Ligonian, but I didn't have enough time even to put predictions on the screen. But I'll make, I'll try and do the next week though. Right, um, on to squad news now. I just said Creed Dawson has completed the Wolves move after joining from West Ham United. The 32 year old joins on a two and a half year deal from the low Premier League side, so that'll probably take him until he's about 34 and a half, I'd say that. He's, it does you prevent when he retires, he could extend it. But personally, I, think I just want to focus on good signing on strengthening our squad. So, from fellow Premier League side Western United, where he spent the last, the last past three years taking his top flight appearances, 246, good amount. A committed central defender, Jordan's professional career began at his own town of Rotsdale back in 2009, where his impressive performances saw him swap League One for the Premier League with West Bromwich Albion, Wolves rivals, of course. If Dawson's on the pits next, if Dawson's on the pits next season, maybe if West Brom come up, because it will be tight as they're doing quite well now at the moment with their form under their new manager. Yeah, he probably will get a lot of booing and stuff now joining Wolves and stuff. But I don't really mind. Why do you won't mind either? Seven of Dawson's eight seasons across the West Midlands going in the top flight, where he gained a reputation as a threat from set pieces. He has 52 career goals to his name, as well as his committed defending at the other end of the pitch. While at the Hawthorns, Dawson turned out 15 times for England and the 21 side, scoring six times and representing Great Britain at the 2012 Olympics in London. I didn't realise that one. After Albion, the defender's career progressed into a campaign with Watford during the 9 to 20 season, but after the club relegation to the Championship, he snapped up by the Hammers initially on loan in 2020 because he's more because he's, he's probably the quality is too good for the Championship. Having Help West Ham into the Europa League. The move was made permanent, and on European stage, he flourished that season, impressing in their journey to the semi final, which led to a place in the Europa League team of the season. Yeah, during that Euro European campaign, Dawson caught the eye of now Wolves head coach Julian Lobotegi, whose side were beaten over two legs by West Ham, with the central defender shining in both legs of the last 16 victory. The defender has continued to feat to this term, racking up 13 appearances and winning goal at Sikiborg in the Europa Conference League before making the switch to Molyneux. So I think it's a very good signing. And if you, if you look at a lot of the teams in the Premier League, I'll say in the bottom half, we, we've actually strengthened our squad, our squad, ra squad rather a lot if you, just, if, you, if you have a look now. If you look at Sal, if you look at Sal at the bottom, he lost yesterday. They brought in one new player from racing club, some Argentina club. Everton, Everton haven't brought any options in just yet. Maybe because they're struggling financially, and not many players want to join them to go and form they're in. Where Bournemouth haven't really got. I think Bournemouth have got one player, rid off in the rent, but they haven't really done much either. We've got a fourth signing in. We've had Coot. We go through them now. From Coot, we had Kuna, Mario Lamina, pa Pablo Sariba, and now it's Craig Dawson. Sadly, Gonzalo Geddes has gone up to Benfica, but personally, for the 37.5 million transfer fee, he hasn't had many appearances, only 13, and he hasn't really done much for the fee. And going back to Ben Fika, so he did buy Valencia, so I'm quite surprised he did that well. But he comes back to us at the end of the season, though. But personally, it's not really a big loss for us, is it really? But I wish him all the best at Ben Fika, though. And if you look at Le Leeds, right? Um, I think they've one player on the time, one from Salzburg in at the moment. West Tower just signed Danny Ings. 
for Villa. That's a good sign for them. Big buff for Villa, though. Leicester brought some player in, some Danish player in from Copenhagen. And Forrest have brought some. And Forrest have just signed Chris Wood on loan from Newcastle. And Dan Lino from a club in Brazil. So they're strengthening up. They've got so many players in their squad, they really have. And Forrest have a good, good form and they've got a chance of stopping up. Villa has signed some. Villa, has, Villa despite losing um, Danny Ings, he, uh, Watkins scored for them yesterday. But they signed someone called Alex Marina. So I think I think they'll be safe now. Palace got a good point yesterday. So I think Villa, Palace, I think Leicester and West Ham will be alright. Forest, I think are still in it. Leeds are still in it. I think, personally I think Southampton Everton and Bournemouth will go down. We're still in it. But I think with the signs we brought in, if we start getting the point points away, we've only lost one there was a Man United and, and we played well in that against Law Boy. One of the best ones, but we didn't get thrashed. Even the games we have lost, we haven't got thrashed in. Today away at Man City, I don't think we'll win that. But if we lose but put up a good fight and at least get something out of the game, battle for it, I'll be more than happy. So I think any team from 13th down to bottom are still in it at the moment. Southampton might get out of it because apart from losing one or to Villa, and they had a, and they had a goal ruled out yesterday, I think. So, and he battled quite hard. So, so personally, we we Wolves have done the most strength and up in our squad to stay up, and that if you we need to if you don't spend, you go down. It's now it's it's now the twenty second of January, and it got to the thirty first of January, to the thirty first of January January now until the window ends. So plenty of time to get a few more players in now. Less than 10 days to get a few in. But I think January window, it's always kind of a panic buy and stuff. But if you're in this kind of position like us, I think it's necessary, personally. I think it is a good option, really. Oh, with Craig Dawson now. Let let me go over his career now to, 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 to give you a bit of an update on this. Originally, he started a player called Rotsdale St. Clarence at Rotsdale. And... He's at Radcliffe Borough at Rissington for two years. Clipstone on loan, I don't know where they are, but that's non-league, I imagine. Rotsdale for a year in 2009-2010. Radcliffe Borough on loan for less than a year. Nine years at West Bromwich Albion, 40 goals, 194 assists. Back on loan to Rotsdale again. From... Back on loan, he went back to Rotsdale for a year, then back to West Brom again. Bolton on loan, 2013, 2009 and 2021 for two years. At Watford, but when he went down, he switched to West Ham. Originally on loan, but signed permanently in 2021. So he's there for two years. And now, of course, at Wolves. He's also represented the England under-21s between 2011 and 2013. And he's featured the Great Britain Olympics in 2012. In the ones in London. Let me say to where West Ham now play, of course. So that's their home. So I hope you familiarised yourself there and giving familiarised everybody here and giving somebody an update on, uh, on what sort of player he is. So I'll wrap this video up now. So if you did all enjoy the video, do go like, do subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications every time I make a video. I'll see you in the next one. The Matt Steve Love for Stat High vs. Tell will be out later and this one will be out later as well. So I hope you had a, enjoyed this today. Do give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Have a good one guys. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.